YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Happy Christmas, Happy New Year and all that. I hope it was a good one. Um, I'm currently in the back of the T4 fitting in the diesel heater. And I thought I'd cover a subject that I haven't covered before. The standpipe going into the separate tank. I've had so many people ask me, why have you not covered that? Can you cover that? Blah, blah, blah. So today I'm going to. I have no idea why I haven't done it in the past, but I'm going to today. Um... This video is not a full install or nothing like that. I've done them videos in the past, so if you need help with them, go back to the older videos and you'll see. This one is specifically for the standpipe that goes into the tank. Um, the other thing is, I haven't got my camera with me, so I'm using my phone to record. Quality might be a bit rubbish, a bit shaky, or whatever else. So just bear in mind that I'm trying to work with one hand while I've got my phone in the other hand. So yeah, could be a bit shaky and sketchy, but hopefully this will help you out yeah so first of all we want a 25 mil drill bit or something like that just to pop in the top i've got my 25 mil bit little spade bit um so basically we drill a hole into wherever you want the tap the hole done make sure you clean everything out there'll be loads of little bits in the bottom make sure you give it a good clean out right now that's cut out we want to cut this pipe to size um, how I'm going to do this is put the tank on its side and do it roughly. We want it a little bit off the top, about 20 mil, 25 mil off the top. And I'm going to use my little angle grinder just to cut that. So that's cut. Hopefully, it'll be about 30 mil off the bottom. That's how I want it. Just so any rubbish that sits in the fuel sits at the bottom of the tank, this don't suck it in. Um, so pop that in and sorry again I'm trying to do it all with one hand put it down at an angle pop one in pop the other in there you go and then rubber right there let me get the rubber ready I'll get the rubber on so the rubber goes over the top of that so that's the rubber on then the washer over the top of that And then we screw it on. And there you have it. So the rubber goes on, the washer goes on, and then screw it down. That is now nice and tight. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it ends about there, which is exactly where I want it. I'll let the rest of the rubbish in the fuel sit at the bottom so that's how you do that and that's why i like it coming from the top rather than the bottom because you can have the tanks up there flat there's definitely not going to be any leaks straight out of there and off you go thanks for watching